Namaste students, welcome to our EVS class. In today's class, we are going to learn about the topic fuel. Fuel is used to run vehicles. On your screen, you can see these are the pipes to fill the vehicles with the fuel like petrol, diesel. Right, let's move on and learn more. We already know that some vehicles use fuel to move. Today, we will learn about different types of fuels used in different vehicles. So, we will be looking at some pictures of vehicles and we will discuss what fuel is used in these vehicles. Okay? We will look at some uh, pictures of some vehicles and we will discuss what fuel is used to run these vehicles. Right? So, be ready with your content book and worksheet. The keywords that we are going to learn are gasoline. Gasoline is a liquid that helps run vehicles. It also known as petrol. Fuel, what is fuel? Anything such as gasoline that is burned to produce energy used by a vehicle to move. Okay. Fuel means anything such as gasoline that is burned to produce energy used by a vehicle to move. Okay, we add petrol to vehicles, right? Okay, petrol is the fuel which helps the vehicle to move. Okay, right. So, now we look at these pictures and we will discuss what helps these vehicles to move. Okay, so the first picture is a car. Uh, what helps a car to move? Petrol or diesel. There are some cars which run on petrol. There are some cars which run on diesel okay diesel and petrol are the fuel is the fuel which helps the cars to move okay in the second picture you see here a boat so how does a boat run okay for boats there are oars which the uh, people they move the oars in the water so they row the boat like this they use their energy right here is a ship Okay, this is a cargo ship which carries goods and fuel like petrol, diesel, okay, gasoline, it helps the ship to move. That is the fuel which is used in the ships, okay. So, petrol or diesel helps the ships to move in the water. Next, so here is a boat again, you can see the wind sail here, okay, the big cloth which is tied. What helps this uh, boat to move? It is the wind energy. Okay, wind energy helps this boat to move. Right? So, here we have another boat here. Right? Next, we have a train which runs on electricity. The fuel here is the electricity. Helps this uh, train to move on the track. Fast moving trains. Right? So, here is in the oldest model of the train. This is a steam locomotive. What helps this steam locomotive to move? Okay, fuels like wood, coal or oil are used to move this vehicle. Okay, they are burnt and it moves on the help of the steam. Right? So, let us uh, learn more. We noticed that a lot of vehicles use petrol or gasoline and diesel to move. What will happen if we don't have any fuel left one day? Right, this petrol and diesel, they are non-renewable resources. One day they will get exhausted, they will get finished. So, can you imagine what will happen if these fuels uh, are over? How can we run these cars and vehicles? It will be a bit big problem for us right so we should think about we should find out new sources of energy new fuels which are environment environmental friendly like the solar energy there are still some cars which run with the help of the solar energy and we can also use the wind energy Okay, the fuels which are environmental friendly, which doesn't cause much pollution, such things are better, right? So, we should also save petrol and diesel. So, even if we have to go to the shop or some place which is very close to us, we can 
either walk or use a bicycle instead of a car or a scooter we have to save petrol and diesel right so let us watch this video just like we need food to perform different activities vehicles also need fuel to run some vehicles run on fuels like petrol or gasoline and diesel some vehicles run on fuels like CNG petrol and diesel are found in limited quantities on earth so we should save them using cleaner fuels will reduce air pollution so from this video we understood that petrol and diesel are used for many vehicles and there are some environmental friendly uh, fuels like the cng compressed natural gas solar energy right so let's move on what helps vehicles move from one place to another fuels like gasoline and diesel help vehicles transport goods and people fuel is like food for vehicles okay we take food to get energy right human beings we eat food in we do so many activities every day okay walking running doing different types of works where do we get this energy from we need energy to do some work right we eat food food helps us to give energy so the fuel which is added to the vehicles is like food for the vehicles this fuel helps them to run what are the other kinds of fuels used by different vehicles different vehicles use different kinds of fuels some vehicles like cabs buses auto rickshaws and trucks use cng or compressed natural gas some cars and buses use gasoline that is petrol some trucks buses tractors fire trucks road rollers cranes bulldozers and cabs use diesel some vehicles like cars e rickshaws and bikes use batteries why do we need to save fuels like petrol and diesel and how can we do so okay we discussed earlier that petrol and diesel one day they'll get exhausted they'll get finished they are non renewable resources okay you can't get new petrol and diesel once again we need to save this petrol and diesel so why should we save this fuels petrol and diesel and how should we do that it takes many years for fuels like petrol and diesel to form the number of vehicles that use petrol and diesel has increased however the availability of fuels is decreasing very fast so we need to save them we can save petrol and diesel by using other kinds of fuels like cng and batteries okay cng is compressed natural gas we can also walk to nearby places or use public transport to save fuel okay we have earlier discussed in the previous lessons what is this public transport how we can um, carpool okay how we can use this carpooling method in order to save fuel and reduce pollution all of you remember do you remember the car pooling right so we need to either walk to the nearby places or use public transport in order to save fuel by using less petrol and diesel we also reduce air pollution right now all of you open your worksheet everyone put today's date did you put today's date okay this is 18.3 fuel tick the sentence that describe fuel okay which sentence describes the fuel you should tick it it protects vehicles no it helps vehicles to move yes put a tick to b1 it is food like 
it is like food for vehicles yes so b and c are going to tick second question match the vehicle with the fuel that is usually used to run it okay on our left side we have the vehicles on our right side we have the fuels so which fuel is used for which vehicle we have to match it get ready for this cars trucks and buses okay they use gasoline gasoline means petrol so you match it with that cng vehicles they use natural gas so b okay b you match it with natural gas small cars run on battery right so let's move on to the third question look at the picture write in 10 to 20 words how this fuel is good for environment so in this picture we can see the car it is using electricity to move okay the car runs on electricity so how can this fuel be environmental friendly uh, this is uh, environmental friendly because it doesn't cause it doesn't release much smoke into the air like all other fuels petrol and diesel when they are poured into the vehicles these vehicles on running they give out lot of smoke and harmful gases into the air whereas this electricity here does not cause much air pollution so you can make it very uh, small and you can write two sentences like the vehicles which run on electricity do not cause air pollution right now let's move on to the content book okay so here is a small activity students um open your notebooks write the names of vehicles that run on cng okay which vehicles run on compressed natural gas that you have to write in the notebook right now answer the practice questions in the content book practice questions write any three fuels you can get at a fuel station okay write any three fuels names of three fuels you have to write where you can get in fuel station okay fuel station is like the petrol bunk such type of places right so you can write the names of number 1 diesel number 2 petrol number 3 cng cng is the compressed natural gas second question how is using gasoline different from using a battery to run a car okay gasoline is a liquid which is poured in the petrol bunks and whereas a battery it runs it moves the car right it is used to move the car and battery should be charged tick the correct statements so actually we should tick the any of the sentences which are right okay so the question once again will read how is using gasoline that is petrol different from using a battery to run a car both are good for the environment is it right no petrol uh, gives out lot of smoke right one is harmful for us when burnt yes when uh, petrol is burnt it gives us smoke then one takes a lot of time to form while the other does not so it's not like that so we we'll, we are going to tick b1 one is harmful for us when burnt yes now third one how will using fuel other than petrol and diesel help us okay petrol and diesel are the types of fuel which will get exhausted one day okay we won't be having any petrol or diesel left on one day okay so we need to save it so we should use other fuels like the cng solar energy right such kind of fuels we have to use so you can write the names of some vehicles which can use cng right so do read the lesson from the content book twice underline news words that's all for now have a good day bye bye bye